Hi hey guys, welcome back to the program. Today is February 1st. It is uh, day one of the small scale group build, February being the smallest month of, of the year. Um, small scale group build 2023. Uh, with us is our car we'll be working on this time, 69 Nova uh, SS by Atlantis. This one, as well as the Trans Am that I did last year, uh, the 82Z28 that they have out, those were all monogram kits that were available about the same time uh, when monogram had them out, uh, and Atlantis has brought them back to us. 30 second scale, you would think uh, typically not a lot of detail, but these do. They're not uh, a million parts, but they've got a lot of uh, detail worked into them. If anybody has built one or has them in your stash, you know, uh, pretty good, pretty good details. There's like the chassis detail on that, the floor, um, subframe, fuel tank, uh, looks really good. It's all in proportion, um, body work, the fender vents on a 69 Nova, the roof angle, it's, it looks good. Uh, under hood detail on them. This car I mentioned before when I showed the car has air conditioning, so it's got the correct air box on it, um, and the compressor on the uh, engine on the accessories up front, so it takes care of that. Air conditioning, uh, 350 in it with a 4 speed and air conditioning. That's the way to fly, guys. Everything's backwards here. I, I apologize. I've got the the thing turned around so I can see it, so I know that I'm in, in frame and I'm not talking to you way over here somewhere. Uh, the rest of the Nova builds up nice as a stock SS350, although they do give you a couple of uh, blocks in here to raise the leaf springs and raise the rear of the car up, uh, and a lone hood scoop. So you've got that lone hood scoop there and there are no other performance parts in the car no you know wide wheels mags no uh, performance parts roll roll bar anything like that so yeah I, this one we're just going to go stock um, it is possible now with 3d printing that, that you could get a uh, an ls1 or a big block chevy or um, some sort of uh, turbo motor to put in this, uh, you know, in, done in 3D printed in 30 second scale. Uh, but we're just going to uh, do it stock, much like the Trans Am, and just pick out as much detail as we can and get it looking, you know, for 30 second scale as good as we can. Uh, this car, if you remember last year, uh, the red oxide, the, the uh, proper red oxide finish on the bottom, the subframe. We did a bunch of uh, factory markings on it. Um, the, the chrome tips on the exhaust in the back. Um, the car, we uh, did some factory markings on the uh, firewall. Uh, and the drama last year was right down to the last minute, the, the top of the shaker uh, that I had screwed up and lost. I had gotten a hold of Atlantis and got one coming, got it the, I believe it was the day before, or the day, the last, the last day of, and had cleaned, primered, painted, and had it on the car before the end of the day. So, uh, down to the wire last year. I hope it doesn't go like that this year, um, but if it does, it'll be exciting for for you guys <laughs> um, that's about it first day we're gonna get started bring in as many updates as we can the 25th scale Nova up here uh, we've got um, a little further on that the rear end we pulled back out of it uh, the Yanko Nova that this is not that doesn't have the the, the same parts as the uh, SS 350 that's more of the race car it had the cow induction hood come from the race car we're using that on the, on our uh, 
big block of the Yanko car. But the same sort of thing that they did on the small scale car, they used uh, the blocks to raise the leaf springs in the back. Uh, the, the ones from the race car we used on the Yanko to give it a little bit more altitude in the back. And it's going to be hard to see with the Chevelle right there. But a little bit more altitude in the back. And uh, a taller tire in the back. That's a cheater slick. And then a taller tire in the front on the rally wheels. Um, which I think they are. Mm, Pro track competition fronts. So those would have been from a... I want to say Lindbergh Dodge 330. Um, yeah. Anyway, to get it to sit up then and give it a... Uh, uh, not so... You know, the Nova's typically set like... Well, like on that box art, the factory uh, uh, photo there, they do sit a tad low. So we got it uh, up. Um, we've got some more, some more parts ready. Uh, we're mocking stuff up. We've got some more stuff ready for paint. Uh, next big thing is going to be body work on it. So look for that one uh, in an upcoming uh, episode two. Guys, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. Um, everybody who's in the small scale build, group build, you can check them out. Uh, it was fun last year. I really like doing the Trans Am. If you guys have one or doing it this year, it goes together really well. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I Again, thanks everybody for stopping, and we'll see you next time.